showing how to replace the dash speakers in a 2013 Ram 1500. I'm sure it's the same as a bunch of different other vehicles. This one in particular, it's the big horn uh, with the Hemi 5.7, the 8.4 inch screen. This is the non-Alpine system. <clears throat> this is just the base uh, 8.4 inch model. Um, you basically, and I've already replaced it on the driver's side, I just need to replace it on the passenger side. This was the speaker that was in there. I don't know if you can see very well because of the light. Uh, there's a single cone. It's a paper filament, or whatever that thing's called. And a pretty small speaker. Compare it to these Kicker KS35s I bought off Crutchfield. It was 50 bucks for a pair, and it came with the, uh, the connector, the harness. <clears throat> um... Yeah, the big difference in the size of the magnet. Um, the uh, speaker has a integrated tweeter. It's a two-way speaker. Of course, you're not going to get uh, any any bass out of that. It's not meant for that. It's uh, simply some more treble, uh, some more high-end notes in the system. So pretty cheap upgrade for a great quality. <clears throat> anyway, you. Uh, start by and the only tools that i'm going to use in this process i don't even know if this is the right size but i used it on the other one and it worked this is a 9 30 seconds inch um socket quarter inch um ratchet and my fingers and fingernails what you do is you just stick your fingernails under here lift up pull straight up it's got a couple of clips that come straight up towards you like that. Uh, just lift it straight up and then pull it straight out. That Set that aside. And then the two bolts there holding it in. Um, that's what I did with this. you got to have pretty low clearance. That's why I'm using a ratchet and not a screwdriver. Just loosen it a little bit there on both sides. Be careful not to scratch up any any of the uh, plastic there. And then what I did is just used my fingers to finish getting it out once it's been loose. You can see it's a good re it's a good idea that they uh, included the connector on Crutchfield because you could solder on that. But uh, last time I tried to get a soldering iron this close to my dash, um, yeah, I, I melted some of my dash. So anyway, the connector, let me get the light in there, has this little, this little tab right here that you just got to push in. Let me see if I can set that flashlight. I would be using a head mounted, uh, a headlight. Ah, there we go, it came out. <clears throat> Except... I've got my GoPro mounted to my head right now. Let's try this again. Uh. They made it easy enough to plug in. It just goes in one one way. Now I don't know. I mean, it's a round speaker. Which way's up? Which way's down? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Probably not. But what I like to do. This is how you would look at it if you were looking at it, right? There's a nice kicker symbol at the top. So I will put it in that direction. Just enough clearance. Get it done in there. Up against the tab there in the back. I don't know if that matters, but might as well use it. And then put the screws back in. Pretty simple. Don't over tighten it because remember we're just going with plastic. Just get it tight enough to uh, keep it from rattling. So slides in this direction and then snaps back down into place. All done. Simple.